Anitra May's is a semi-autobiographical story of my childhood. The central character is a, a little girl called Mina, who's a tomboy and a rebel, and her parents slightly despair that she's never going to be a good Indian girl. And she falls in with the bad girl of the village, Anita Rutter. And it's, it's really, the spine of the book is a relationship of, between those two girls. And outside of them, you've got this whole, well, the village life really that I, I lived, a rural way of life with sort of miners tide cottages, two up, two down outside Loo, everyone's doors open, kids playing in the fields, a sort of way of British life that's actually gone now. I can't think of a better home for it. I think there is something very exciting about it being on stage, live, and of course with original music now. In the heart of the black country, what could be better? It's going to be a bit like therapy <laughs> when I go and see it, I think. <laughs> Public therapy. I loved writing the book. It was my first book. Um, and I never thought anybody would read it, so it's a huge surprise to me that it became successful and obviously is now in the school curriculum. Sorry to everyone who's got to now write an exam about a book. I mean, I just actually wanted to just write a story. I'm sorry about that. I think prose is probably the medium I, I find easiest because it's intimate and you have that very intimate relationship with the reader and it's all yours. Whereas with everything else, it's collaborative, but with the book, it's, it's very pure. It enables you to tell the story and place the reader exactly where you want to. I think I'll feel very nostalgic because, you know, I guess I'll see the period reflected in the, in the fashions and the music and I'll hear that accent and I'll see a little bit of my life on stage and um, that's quite a gift actually. I don't think many people get that privilege so. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And so is my family. It's going to be quite a trip. What black country phrases do I use now? I still say bosting occasionally, but no one ever seems to know what it means down south. So, but I like saying it. I've always loved wench. It's a really old, kind of old English word. But it's used a lot, or at least it was when I was growing up. And I think it's quite blousy and a bit naughty, and I like wench. And of course, bog off which I say quite a lot. I am so thrilled about Piggy Blinders and Danny and the Human Zoo because I think we have been woefully served in the Black Country in the West Midlands. Um, it's such a rich area, historically. Um, and just the sort of diversity of the communities there and the stories they bring and Bungra started there and the Balti started there and heavy metal started there. I mean, there's just so many things, there's so, many, so much stuff to write about, not only in the past but now. I mean, I've seen the script and it's great, I've heard the music and it's great. It's got all the elements for a really great family night out. What every writer hopes is that their stories get heard. So um, the fact that it's, ha it's they're going to have a brand new life on the stage in a completely new form with music and all the energy of of live performance and I hope lots of laughs from a live audience I think is it's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm.